Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel, y'all. So, in today's build, I am renovating yet another apartment in The Sims 4, and this one is 920 Medina Studios. This apartment, it's always been an apartment that I've had such a hard time building in because of the layout, the size, etc. And so I really wanted to really just give it a chance and try something different. And let me tell you, I'm in love with this apartment. So this apartment is actually inspired by the video game Cyberpunk 2077. Um, I have absolutely talked about this on the channel before, but I am completely obsessed with that video game. It is ridiculous how much time I will play it, but um, I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't already, because the uh, it's basically sort of akin to the kind of games like Saints Row and Grand Theft Auto, like those kind of games, but I feel like it's still a lot more like RPG story driven. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's one of those games and I, oh my gosh, the story, the characters, the, the city, just everything about the game is so full of detail and just, I don't know, it's, it's amazing. But in this video game, uh, you are, you basically live in a city called Night City. It's basically a Los Angeles in the future kind of vibe. And so the city, there is multiple apartments that you can actually rent out and you can live in all of them. You can just own all of these apartments and just when you need a place to just go sleep and just shower and you know, all that stuff, you can just go to one of those apartments and do that. And um, they're all so detailed detailed and beautifully decorated and they've always inspired me so much so um, I decided to kind of base this apartment off of those sort of or at least if I was to make an apartment for like that city I would th this would be the apartment if that makes sense. I used a lot of platforms in this apartment to kind of break it up a bit. Um, I tried some new flooring that I really really enjoyed. Like, not new flooring but flooring I don't normally use like this carpet the stripey looking carpet that's from Dine Out. Um, I thought it fit perfectly with the vibes in here and I really liked how I kind of like alternated the direction of it there too to kind of give it some intrigue but then I also used platforms to kind of break up the rooms a little bit because that's one of my issues with this apartment is that if you since there's since the uh, wall height is the tall wall height um, I always have such issues like breaking up the apartment because it's so big. You don't want it to be like super big and open, but if you close it off with a bunch of rooms, then the rooms feel awkward because the walls are really high. And so I thought the platforms would be the best way to break it up. And, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I really like how it looks. And, uh, I of course used some objects in this game that I don't normally use in, uh, uh, normal day-to-day -day builds, but I think they all work so well together. Together. like that wallpaper from spa day that glows oh my goodness let me tell you it is so cool it is such a cool object we've had that for so long but it works so so well here um, there's that neon light from the mosquito stuff pack as well as those little record decal kind of decorations that go on the wall from the new high school years pack just there's just so many items that I used in this apartment that I normally never use in like regular builds that I do on the channel and it really pushed me out of, out of my comfort zone a little bit little bit because like I don't know I'm just not used to this stuff like those carpets or those rugs in the living room uh, I don't really use the zebra stripes it works really well here and that front door is actually from the I believe it's from get together actually it's a little bit futuristic looking and there's the mosquito wallpaper there's I don't know, the eco lifestyle, um, like wall, like kind of, it's like a siding kind of metal exterior thing. And honestly, it looks so good in here. Uh, the couches are from the, the Moschino stuff pack. I thought that made a lot of sense, uh, just to use those because I didn't want to use the sectional from dream home decorator because I did actually try in this video later on. I do edit that out of course, but I do try using the sectional from dream home decorator and it just didn't work. It just didn't fit the vibes. The same way that those did. And I had to use the uh, coffee table as well from the uh, new high school years pack. You see there in the middle, it's those little round tables. I used two, so it kind of, uh, I don't know, like it kind of is just like a little bit more um, I don't know. It just fills in the space a bit more if there's two there. Uh, and I don't know that little pop of purple on the, uh, 
bigger one just uh, I love that it kind of accents the uh, the the bright purple walls uh, just scattered throughout the apartment and I also did use the tool mod by the way uh, I use the tool mod to uh, replace these windows which if you are interested in learning how to do that I do have a tutorial on my channel it's it's you know been a little bit since I've made it but it's still very much so uh, applies it does work with this apartment in particular um, some apartments it is a little bit finicky because the grid layout um, for the lot itself is a little bit weird so just keep that in mind but uh, just because like the apartment shell itself is like placed a little bit like awkwardly uh, like in comparison to the grid of the lot it, I, I really don't know how to say it in a way that makes sense because I can see it in my head and I know how, how it makes sense in my head but not I don't know how to verbalize that if that makes sense <laughs> yeah it's coming together and uh, I I don't know. It was so, so much fun. Like I, oh, I was listening to, okay, this is how much I hyperfixate over Cyberpunk uh, 2077. I say Cyberpunk 2077 because that's the name of the game, but I just say Cyberpunk. But uh, I hyperfixate so much. I have a playlist on Spotify that is specifically music that reminds me of that game. A lot of the, like, not a lot of the music, but there is even like the first song on the playlist is a song that's literally in the game because I just had to pause because I was coughing and I forgot what I said because that's how good my focus and my attention span is. But I was talking about my playlist that I have. It's literally a playlist that I kind of imagine that my character uh, in the game would listen to if that makes sense um but my character like the character in the game it's not really like your own character you don't like give them your own name or anything um but their name is v just just v the letter v um i absolutely love it it's the character uh he's so cool and like well he or she or they whatever um just just check it out if that's your vibe if you can play a game like that i highly recommend it because it's very queer it's very just, I don't know, even the straight, quote unquote, straight characters give you a different energy, if that makes sense. What is interesting about this apartment, though, um, there isn't really like a bathroom. Like there is a bathroom. There's there obviously is a bathroom, but I kind of made it a little bit open plan in that sense. Like, um, I don't know, like, for example, V has his own apartment in the beginning. Like in the beginning of the game, whenever you finish the tutorial kind of prologue section or epilogue, prologue, yeah, it's pro prologue. Um, you get your own apartment and it's kind of weirdly open plan. Like there isn't really like a quote unquote door to the bathroom. It's, it does have a, it's a little bit weird, but it it's the way that it's set up is definitely a lot different than what we're used to. So what I did here was I made the bathroom part of the bedroom. I, I did separate it with like a, a little bit of walls and a uh, lower platform. Uh, like it kind of is a little bit sunken, but I feel like it makes a lot of sense um, and it works really well. And let me tell you, I am obsessed, obsessed with the uh, shower section. It's so cool. I love the shower. I really wanted it to be like a nice shower because I was like, you know, they have this bright, bright colored um, tub. Do I change that later? I don't remember if I do change the color of that. Um, I, I know it's a bright color. I don't know if I used this pink or if I used a teal. I can't remember, but um, I, I also wanted there to be a bathtub too. So, um, oh my gosh. T taking 180 really, really quickly. I was also using these uh, columns from City Living and they glow. And I was like, oh my gosh, the purple is perfect. Like, I was like, yes. Like, you know, whenever you find an item and you're doing a build and it just fits the vibe perfectly, it, that that fit the vibe for me perfectly. And, um, oh my gosh, another thing, another thing. I'm just all over the place today. But um, the, the thing about this apartment that I'm really in love with is I changed the color of the lighting um, in like, like all over the apartment and that changes the mood so much let me tell you it's not only changing the mood there you can see me changing music um for some reason it recorded that but um it changes the mood 
of the whole apartment whenever you do that. Like if you are building and it just doesn't feel a little bit right, you can change the colors of the lighting and oh my gosh, it makes it so much better. I did a lot of like purple and blue and pink lighting. I very much so made it bisexual lighting, just gonna be honest. And uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I did do a couple touches of like orange here and there just to kind of throw it up a little bit or change it up, but yeah, I, I really like it. It's really cool. I just, oh, I love this apartment. It's so, I would live in it. It's kind of neat. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I, it's weird how I can go from wanting a witchy little cabin in the woods to this hyper futuristic apartment in uh, Night City. Like, I don't know what it is. It's, it's something about my duality of my personality, I guess you could say. And I just so happened to... You can, you can see a couple times. I don't, I didn't realize it was recording my screen, not the game. You can also see the recording button at the bottom. Oh gosh, uh, don't pay attention. Um, but uh, my screen recorder has like, it has like two different modes where you can record a specific window or you can just record your screen. And it recorded my screen for some reason. I guess I had that function on for some reason, but um, once in a while you'll see me like changing my music and I'm listening to the playlist that I talked about earlier. Um, it's definitely not, I, I want to say like, it's definitely an explicit playlist. Let's be honest. Um, obviously the game itself is pretty, pretty raunchy too. Let's be honest. Um, but this apartment isn't of course, but oh, the shower. Oh my gosh. The shower. Let me tell you, I love it. I don't know what it is. The toilet's kind of awkward. I know just cause, cause imagine like you're in the bedroom and like you, you take a, you take a poo and like, you know, somebody walks in with to your bedroom and you're like, Ooh. Uh, yeah, you know, that's a little bit weird, you know, but you know what? It's fine. I don't care. It's the Sims. It's make believe. I don't care. It works. <laughs> but yeah, I did make that bathtub, that bright teal. I thought that made sense. It just kind of changed it up a bit. And I was using the tool mod here to place a little towel hanging from the sink because I really wanted that. I've been seeing that lately in uh, a lot of uh, builds and I was like, oh, I really, really wanted to give that a try. And um, yeah, the Oh, that bathtub is so cool. I just love that bathtub. I don't know. There's just so many things in this apartment that they're objects that I've always really liked, but never found myself using on the regular. And oh my gosh, like the paintings here in the bedroom, that chair there, that's where the wardrobe is, like the bathtub, that rug. Oh my gosh, everything in this is just, I don't know. It's really cool. It's really cool. I'm just, I'm just here kind of obsessing over it and uh, patting myself on my back on my own back, you know, I, I did a pretty good job, not gonna lie. But yes, uh, the only thing that's left in this apartment is actually this little office space. Um, I kind of imagined that this is not just an office, but it's also just like a little hangout room. Um, I should have put that like bubble blower from City Living in here. I think that would have fit the vibes perfectly, but um, I'm still really, really happy with how it came out uh, because I added like a little couch and and a desk and a bookcase and an aquarium. Oh my gosh, the aquarium is so cool. I'm really, really proud of what I did with the aquarium, but right now I'm just trying to do some form of like an L-shaped desk. And uh, I liked it at first, but I do change it later because um, I was like, ah, it doesn't really make sense because like, what am I gonna put on this? And like, it, I don't know, it just felt awkward and just kind of like, it didn't work in the moment, but I did use the new streaming uh, computer from the high school years pack with the curved monitor. That's pretty extreme. I'm not gonna lie because I mean, yes, I have two monitors, so maybe it makes more sense to just have one. I don't really know. Let me know what you think. Like, do you think having like one big, like wide monitor is better than having two like regular sized ones? I don't really know. I feel like that would be that would be interesting to see that in like person and see how that works for me. I don't know. But here I am making the aquarium. And uh, basically I use that aquarium from the dine out expansion pack and or stuff pack or game pack, sorry. <laughs> and I used uh, some lights to just add like, some light in that room, but then I changed the colors to purple and it, oh, it just transformed it. It made it look so glowy and just like, realistic. And I don't know, I just think that that looks better than just a regular aquarium just standing on the floor. Like, I feel like that just looks a lot more fancy and, you know, 
upper class sort of, um, but at the same time, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely grungy. I don't know. This apartment just has a lot of different styles, and that's the thing about the whole cyberpunk aesthetic. It's very much so like a mixture of futuristic and grungy and sort of nightclub-y, but at the same time, it can also be very sleek and very modern. I, it's really cool. I love the different, like, I love the, the merging of all those different styles a lot. And you can see I also in this room uh, took the carpet and kind of brought it in just a little bit, just because I thought that kind of brought it, it kind of like merged the rooms a little bit i thought that was kind of neat and uh i used that you know sort of sectional uh love seat from the my first stuff my my first pet stuff pack that's what it's called my my first pet my pet my you know what that pack the one that we that everybody hated for a while but it's no longer as hated now um that one uh yeah i thought it made sense there it just looked cute and it worked. Um, but the posters in here, oh my gosh, I did a mixture of different posters from different packs, but there's those posters from the werewolves pack that I immediately, when I saw them, I was like, yes, I'm using that in a cyberpunk build. And uh, this is whenever I accidentally made all the lights the same color. And I was like, I need to fix this, but I really love how this turned out. Look at all, look at, oh, just look at the lighting. It's so like, cool. I used a chandelier. I believe that's from Dine Out also. Um, I can't remember exactly which pack. I'm pretty sure it's Dine Out. Oh my goodness. It looks so cool. Like just with the different colored lights too, it just transforms. Like that's something I will recommend. Like if you have the better build by mod, that's how I was able to change the lighting in the actual building process, not having to move a sim in and do it, you know, out in live mode. Um, I definitely recommend checking out the better build by mod if you can. And uh, you all you have to do with when you have that mod is just shift click a light and it brings up that little um, changing the light color menu. And it's so, so handy. But yeah, I'm just going going through and adding a bit more detail, just a few more knickknacks and decorations. Can I just say, I know we don't have smoking in The Sims 4 and I'm not necessarily condoning smoking, but I just, it'd be so cool if we had like a decorative ashtray. That would, I just, I feel like that would just seal the deal with this apartment. Like a little decorative ashtray on the coffee table um, next to the incense holder perfect. But anyways, uh, I will let you all know, I guess, if I do upload this to the gallery. Uh, I don't really know how I'm going to because of the tool mod windows, but maybe I'll just at least upload it and y'all can do with, do with it what we will. But anyways, I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay home. Stay healthy. Stay hydrated. Take your vitamin today. Drink some water and go have a cup of tea or something. Don't drink too much coffee, you know just you, you know how that is but anyways uh i love you all that is everything thank you all so so very much for watching stay weird and i will speak to you all next time bye y'all <laughs>